Bet you know what this means. You guessed it, it's a book haul. And you guessed it, your girl spent too much goddamn money on books to get one of these bad boys. What's up you guys? I have a book haul for you today. Oh my god, it's so many books. Oh, I feel like this video is going to be extra long, so let's get into it. Th this is the box. It's really heavy. I I'm going to put it down now. Okay. So the first book that I have is The Luminaries by Eleanor Catton. It is a paperback. It's a nice floppy one. And I think this book is about like a ghost story with some zodiac signs and a man in the 1800s and some shit happens and that's all I know. We need to talk about Kevin by Lionel Shriver which is now a major motion picture. This book is about a mom coping with the fact that her son killed some people in like a school shooting or whatever and I think that the boy is autistic or somebody in the family is autistic I think. Also by Lionel Shriver, Big Brother which is about this guy who gained a bunch of weight. His sister goes and picks him up and she's like what the fuck happened? You gained hundreds of pounds so it's about that. A Dance with Dragons by George R. R. Martin. If you don't know what series this is from, you know nothing, Jon Snow. Hm. Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. This is historical fiction love story. There's a show about it. I haven't watched the show. I don't really want to watch the show. So I've been trying to get this book for a long time and it would come on there but it would always be a scratch and dent copy or it would be like a mid I, it just would never be the shit that I wanted so I'm glad I finally got it yay Mr. Mercedes and Finders Keepers both by Stephen King they are books one and two in the series these are about this guy he killed some folks at a job fair right he got away and now the cop the cop is trying to find them. On Such a Full Sea by Shang Ray Lee. This is a post-apocalyptic book about some shit happened to America and they had a bunch of people from China come over and they're now in settlement camps. Hmm, sounds familiar. And this one girl, her love interest goes missing and she goes on a quest to find him. I really like this cover. There will be lies and then there will be the truth by Nick Lake. This book is about this girl who her mom is like totally sheltering her and then she gets hit by this car and then her mom snatches her away and is like see that's what happens blah 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 and then her mom takes her away and now she's trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. Crenshaw by Christine Applegate. She also wrote the, the book about the monkey. Ivan, the one and only Ivan. Yeah, that one. Which I thought was okay. I'm really curious to see how this one's gonna go. Um, this one is about this boy and his life is going really fucked up. His, he's homeless and stuff and Crenshaw is this big imaginary cat. Um, and we'll see how that goes. The Buried Giant by Kazuo Ishiguro. It is an extraordinary tale of love, vengeance, and war. So there was this war and in Britain and some stuff happened and then there was this like this mist and it made people forget stuff and this couple they want to go see their son but they can't remember shit about him and they meet some people along the way but then their memories start to come back and then stuff happens. Red Rising and Golden Sun both by Pierce Brown who is actually quite good looking. All I know is these are some fantasy some SFF books. I've heard really great things about these the this series so I, I'm, re I'm really excited about it. Sarina by J. Nell Patrick. Okay I read some a description of this book and it was explained to me in a way that I remembered that I wanted to read it but I don't remember what it was about and I'm too lazy to read the inside. So, yep, here you go. 45 pounds, more or less, by K.A. Barson. This book is about this girl, she's like 16, she wears like a size 17, which is, she probably still looks cute. But she goes on this rampage and she makes up her mind that she wants to lose 45 pounds. Also by Kazuo Ishiguro, The Remains of the Day. 
I don't know what this is about. It is also one of the most subtle, sad, and humorous love stories ever written. That is intriguing. I really like this cover. It is a man's head, but like, as a time thingy. The Devil's Arithmetic by Jane Yolen. I bought this book because I have been wanting to read this book ever since I saw the movie. Movie was awesome as shit, man. If you haven't seen the movie or read the book, I suggest you do one or the other. I'm recommending the movie because that is what I have seen. It is starring Kirsten Dunn. It is about this girl. I think she like gets hit in the head as she's at like her family gathering. She gets hit in the head and she wakes up and she's in a concentration camp. She's like, what the fuck is going on? Mortal Gods by Kendare Blake. This is book two in the Goddess War series. Why the fuck did they change the covers? Who, who, who decided that? My thing is, you changed the covers, but they're both ugly. Last but not least is Colorless Sukuro Tazaki and His Years of Pilgrimage by Haruki Murakami. Not really sure if I said any of that, right? But I'm really curious about this book. So yeah, you guys, that was like 19 fucking books. I hope this video is not too long. Anyway, that is all that I have for you guys today. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below in my belly and I'll talk to you guys later.